Thomas House is incredible. This is my life right now and I'm so appreciative for it because if I didn't have this place, if I didn't have this kingdom, I would be on the streets. I probably would have OD'd by now and died. This place is what's kept me secure, secure and strong. And it just, it provides all of my needs right now because it, it's, you know, I have food here, I have a shelter, I have, I have a shower, a bed to sleep in every night and wonderful women surrounding me that just give me so much encouragement and feedback. And I couldn't ask for a place that's any better right now. I was in a hotel room with pills chopped up everywhere and you know I was with a client prostituting my body and my soul I was selling my soul and that hand kind of reached out to me and well the phone rang which was the hand <laughs> and it was you know the Dream Center I never knew what like a personal relationship with Jesus really meant until I came here I feel so much hurt and like unforgiveness and like pain and I didn't know how like to let it go or like I just, I didn't know what I was doing here. I didn't know what I was doing in my life. I was so confused and I just remember feeling like God's arms just around me and like just telling me like this is where I'm supposed to be and all I had to do was just be still and trust Him and everything was going to fall into place. The remarkable thing that I see here on a daily basis is women coming in every single day and getting them to change their lives, getting to watch them just go through this process of getting to learn God and really come away from the brokenness that they've known their whole lives and just watching the God work in them and this floor has been something that not only I experience that but I get to watch women every single day experience the same thing. Um, what got me here was a three-year meth addiction and before that I was a really bad alcoholic who I didn't know God at all. I always had this feeling that there was something greater than me but I never, never knew what it was. I'm just getting ready to graduate um, January 10th and I have just decided in last week to stay for the second year. I have done AA and NA for many years, in and out, trying to um, get clean and sober and couldn't. In detox, I met a Christian woman um, that worked there and she looked up the Dream Center and gave me the information and my kids got it all set up and that's how I got here. Well, my dream for tomorrow is definitely something with ministry. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but I just feel like I can definitely relate to a lot of young women out there, teenage girls, you know, when, when they're feeling hopeless, when they want to kill themselves, when they're cutting themselves, when they have eating disorders, when they can't get away from this abusive ex, when they feel like they're all they have, you know. I, I want to be able to help people and show them that there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is a father that really genuinely cares about them. The first thing that comes to mind is like just being the best mom for my son. Like I always, uh, sorry, I thought that like I wasn't um, because of all the bad choices that I made and like the wrong decisions and stuff. I thought that that meant like that I wasn't supposed to be a mother. God doesn't give us children for other people to raise them. Like he intended for me to be a mom and um, now I can see that clearly. Like I can see that I'm, just because I made bad choices that doesn't define who I am. That doesn't define the person that I'm gonna be tomorrow, you know? And so I, I just, I can't wait to be that mother that he deserves that I know I can be, you know? My tomorrow is going to be amazing. It's, um, it's, I have two, three grandkids. One I haven't even seen yet. I came here three months before she was born. And so I'm going to be a grandma, um, you know, be able to go back and be a grandma and be there for my kids. And um, God is just doing so much in my life. And I just, I look forward to tomorrow. The ultimate reward is getting to see these women completely changed. Not just changed on the outside, but changed on the inside. They leave this place. I get to stay connected with them after they leave. Some of them stay a second year and that's awesome. Some of them go on to do what God's called them to do. And regardless, it's just, it's the greatest reward for me to know that I had any kind of hand in that and to know that like God's gonna continue that work in them as they leave here. They don't have to, they don't have to stay here forever. You know, God's got his hand on them everywhere that they go. And this place has just set that solid foundation in their life. Thank you for second chances. Thank you for the opportunity to grow. Thank you, Mama Teresa, for 
just building the 11th floor so that we can all just learn how to be wonderful women of God and warriors to the kingdom and just really to work through that mess and come through on top, you know, like we really are lilies among the thorns and you've helped just produce that for all of us and I just really thank you for that. Thank you Dream Center and thank you Mama Teresa so much for my life today and that I can be here. Thank you Dream Center and thank you Mama Teresa. Thank you Dream Center and thank you Mama Teresa.